Hello, my name is Rosie Sweet. I'm a drama therapist working for Cambridge Music. This month is actually Maternal Mental Health Month. And so to honour that, um, I'm going to spend some time talking about the mother archetype. Within drama therapy, we often look at legends and stories because they hold these archetypes or characters. And we can examine them and look at their journeys and their attributes and how that might reflect on our internal world and connect with us. Uh, the mother archetype is uh, one that props up again throughout all cultures and for thousands and thousands of years. And this isn't just related to females. Um, all genders can look at the mother archetype and take elements of her that might connect with them. She is, as I said throughout history, and I'll give you some examples, but a very clear example of her um, is Mother Nature. And it's the idea that it is the bringer of life um, and nourishment, but also can be hugely destructive. Um, so exactly with Mother Nature can be hugely destructive with earthquakes and, and volcanoes, but also is the bringer of food, the bringer of water and nourishes all life on Earth. The ancient Greeks have an example of this too. Um, their goddess Gaia, who gave birth to all gods and goddesses um, and the creation, but was born of chaos herself. And the ancient Egyptians had the goddess Isis, who, when her husband um, was scattered into lots of different pieces, scoured all of Egypt, uh, brought his pieces back together and was able to breathe healing energy back into him so that he was then able to become king of the underworld. And this idea of strength, but also huge healing ability and nourishment is something that we can just take some time to look at and reflect on how that kind of sits with us in our lives I hope you found this useful. Um, there are lots of different stories that you can go research if you are interested in it. Uh, have a wonderful day and take care. Bye bye.